said he thought your stuff was outstanding, you commanded the ball well, and then also got out of tough moments. But from your perspective, how how do you feel overall tonight? Timing wise, it was one of my better ones. Uh, I felt really good. Uh, just everything was coming out, like extension wise, timing felt great. So. Uh, yeah, like pitched out of some big moments. Crazy good defense today. Helped me out a lot like they usually do. So it was a good one today. Cash said they talked after the sixth inning and they felt like you had more pitches to provide. He mentioned that extra day of rest. Did you feel like that, I don't know, helped you at all? Uh, may, I, may, I don't know. I don't. I think it was just like good timing today. And I generally, too, like when timing is good, like the fatigue isn't as like present. I just say like when things are timed up and things are good, it's not like inconsistent. So I, possibly, I'm not I'm not quite sure what it was, but I felt good. You mentioned the defense. Was there one particular thing that stood out? I mean, there was that play in the second, the impressive turn by Walls, and then Zunino tagging on <clears throat> Josh Bell in the seventh. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the throw, Z, uh, up the middle, brought like there's uh, everything. It was always good. I just feel like too like our shifts were were good. Everything seemed to be like smoked at somebody. Um, that's, I mean, really good lineup. They put the bat on the ball pretty well tonight. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if – there's a lot of good ones. I can't even, like, think back to that specifically, but all of them. Hey, Glass, 10, 10 Ks through the first five and, and 27 swing and misses. Did you feel something was particularly working tonight? The slider, for sure. That's the best my sliders felt probably all season. Um, the last like inning or so, maybe not so much. I think like my release got a little weird, but for the most part, like overall, that's probably the best my sliders felt. And I think just getting more aggressive and trying to throw it uh, like harder, it, it helped. I just think not trying to like like finesse anything, just really trying to keep that extension. It, it felt great tonight. Yeah. And then Catch did mention that maybe because they give you the extra two days, they were a little bit more liberal with letting you finish the seventh. When it started with the double, were you thinking, was that kind of a, you wanted to get through it? Kind of that uh, block, yeah, that yeah, in? absolutely. <clears throat> I think if it's like after an inning and I have like, like a pit, I think I can go back out and I don't. Like it's not as, but I think in the middle of the inning when you're like, you're in competition mode and then you get taken out, it just feels so much worse. So I'm, I'm happy he let me go out and, and finish that inning and again, Props to the defense for helping me out there. I don't know if it would have changed if I run scored or anything like that. So thanks again. Tyler, you also mentioned the other day kind of the trade off of getting the extra rest, you know, maybe being off your team, but still getting to pitch deep into games. Is this, I mean, kind of a, a, the example of that that you get to go back out there and finish the seven? Yeah, I <clears throat> I think. I don't know. It's, I, honestly, it's, a, it's up to cash, but um, I, yeah, this was. I, like I said, I'm happy they let me go back out and finish. And I think once you're getting to that rhythm and like you're in, your body's just like kind of working on its own, I guess, after you throw so many pitches. I think like later in a game for me is when I feel the best. Um, so yeah, I think this is a, a good strategy. I'm, I'll do whatever. And as far as the timing goes, is there anything in particular that you felt like led to it or just kind of a night where everything syncs up? Stop, stop trying to have good timing. I just tried to like be aggressive and throw the ball hard. And I think as before, you kind of take each start into the next start and you're like, oh, what was working then? And then I was like, doesn't matter. Just go out and see the glove and, and hit the glove. And I think my last couple starts, that might have been a little tougher. But today, for sure, Z helped me kind of remind me of it too. Like always kind of giving me just like threw me messages and see my hands but uh that helped me a lot i think it was just being aggressive every single pitch and not trying to finesse anything today talking about like throwing the ball through yeah basically. like as opposed okay. to like trying to like get it out and like coming off of it he's just like be aggressive and throw it to where i'm setting up the bottom of the fifth how nice was it to capitalize there after you know a couple missed opportunities early in the game and to see Brasso start it yeah it was big mikey made a nice play to in the ninth right there uh, we turned a couple big double plays, um, but certainly his hit coming through right there, I believe off Suaro, who's tough, you know, a tough cutter. Uh, he hung in there and, and, you know, got enough of it to get in front of Soto and then bounce over him. And then, um, you know, runs were tough to come by. Their guys pitched well. We Manny Margot sets the tone, and then we went quiet, but Bross certainly picked us up in a big way, big double. And then Tyler Glass now throughout the game. How impressive was he? Very. Uh, it was re really good. You know, I, I, we'd like to think that the extra days did him did him good. Uh, we extended him. You know, he was getting to that territory where it wasn't very comfortable. The Castro bat kept foul ball, foul ball, foul ball. But Glass continued to make big pitch after big pitch with you know not mar not a lot of margin of error um, that he was working with. So just an outstanding performance. And then. 
you know, I think the bullpen did a nice job, and I think highlighted by Ryan Thompson. Yeah, I was going to say, what did you see from Ryan Thompson there getting out of that bases loaded jam? And that was huge. Yeah, look, he's facing the, the four or five guys in the lineup. Um, they're, they're really good hitters. Uh, really like the way he just came in and attacked with strikes. Um, that, that, you know, I think with Zimmerman, he's probably looking for swing and miss or put it on the ground for a double play ball. Then he got the two outs, and then you know he, he, he established kind of top of the zone fastballs that that he doesn't do very often, but um, it just changes the eye level really well, especially facing a guy that throws from that slot to be able to have the ability to sink it and then run it up and in. Those are big pitches that he made. And then just one more thing that might have been overlooked with everything that happened there at the end, getting out of the top of the seventh there, the nice job by Zunito to tag out Josh Bell. I guess how big was that? Yeah, big play by Z, big play by Randy. You know, uh, all we ask is those guys to, to give us a chance on the throws and let the catcher have something that he can work with. And, you know, everything kind of came together. It was like a very, very bang-bang play. Fortunate for us that, that um, Z got the tag down in time. Kevin, I know you said runs were obviously hard to come by, but you, you guys showed a lot of patience at the plate. I think you drew eight walks and saw 182 pitches maybe. Yeah, I mean, look, I think walking is something that we've done well here lately. We've, we've kind of worked pitchers, and, and our walks have kind of come up. I mean, there were some big at-bats where guys didn't press to try to do too much or were willing to make the pitcher work. I mean, we're facing a guy like Lester that – He's, what a career he's had, really good um, to, to drive his pitch count. That's probably the best way to get him out to where he can't impact the game too deep. And we, we did have some good at bats. And then um, what made Glass now effective tonight? He had, I think, 27 swing and misses. Um, well, I mean, he had some nasty breaking balls for sure. Uh, I, I, I think part of, look, his stuff was outstanding. He commanded the ball really well. And then there's, you know, the, the Nationals aren't a team that see him all the time. So uh, there's not a big track record uh, with those hitters facing him. But either way, I mean, it didn't matter who Glass was facing tonight. He had, you know, his A stuff that he was bringing to the table. Gotcha. Just a couple quick things. Did it look like Wendell maybe got clipped by Robles there on the throw? Th that's what we were reviewing. Uh, and, you know, they ultimately decided that he did not. So you, you guys looked at it, you mean? Yes. You decided not to challenge. Yeah. And then when it, the ups came over to you at the end of the eighth, was that to confirm that you knew you only had one mound visit left or was yeah. there some other issue? No, that was it. Mound visit. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Yep. Kevin, okay, you touched on it, but was the extra rest one reason you felt at least a little more comfortable letting Glass now reach that, uh, that pitch count tonight? Yeah, I mean, look, he started the inning with 90 – three pitches i believe um you know we, we're totally comfortable with that but there are times throughout the season that you know given a, a, a real thick workload you know i think kyle and i are going to try to balance what, what it is but given that he did have the two days we both talked after the sixth inning and felt like that you know he had you know 15 20 pitches left to to provide um and he came through he made the big pitches for sure Mike, your RBI double in the bottom of the fifth was crucial. It broke the tie. You had a couple great at-bats there before you came up by Meadows and Randy Arosarena. Can you take me through delivering there? Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was, it's kind of, you get down early like that to uh, to a guy that has great stuff on the mound, kind of just go into battle mode, um, try to put the ball in play, try to stay closed as much as possible, drive to the right side of the field. Try to make something happen. We saw you celebrate a little bit extra when you got to second there. Did it feel extra good to deliver for your team with that big hit and that big moment? Yeah, for sure. Especially when you got a guy glass on the mound, keeping us in the ball game all day. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit sa uh, more satisfying when you see the dugout kind of erupt a little bit, and you know it's a game game changer play. How about Ryan Thompson there getting out of that bases loaded jam? How big was that? I mean, he's been doing it all year. Um, uh, he he lives for that kind of moment. Thompson, when he's on the mound, we know we're in a good spot, and uh, you know, he showed up today. Another guy who's been doing it all year is Tyler Glass now. What can you say about him? Uh, unbelievable. That Glass is, I mean, his stuff speaks for itself, but the competitor in him and, and just the way that he shows up every day and for that fifth day, um, 
you know, he's our workhorse. And when he's on, he's on, and we're in a good spot. Mike, I don't know if you know this, but you got the big hit tonight in front of your little league coach from Portage. He is here in the stands. It's kind of cool to produce in front of him, a guy who's been there from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw him before the game a little bit. I gave him a wave. Didn't know he was going to be here. Um, yeah, kind of full circle. It's, uh, it's definitely cool having a little childhood uh, acquaintance come and, and see me play now. So, yeah, full circle. Congratulations, Mike. Thanks so much. Guys, back to you.